okay, before we even get into this, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, I'm on Ford's side. Because at the end of the day, Nikki, is that, is that how Nikki looks? Like, she doesn't even look familiar to me. Is that how her face looked when we first met her? I don't know, but either way, like, was it necessary for you to post this and say we all have that one ex that we don't want to claim? Was was this directed towards four? Like, you 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 really don't have to to say the shit. Like, you don't. You really don't. And and, and child, him and his pressing curl, him and his his this press out that he got right here. Man said, I'm gonna start my OnlyFans and give my money up like our good brother four, who want to see my big ass trapped in a cage like this. <laughs> Would y'all still respect me? Honestly, Van, I don't know if we respect you all that much now, okay? But honestly, I do respect for I respect his honesty. I respect the fact that he's flourishing over there in his freak nasty kink area of Twitter and OnlyFans. I don't see the problem. If you don't want to do this, don't do this. If you don't like this, then don't do this. If you don't want to follow him, unfollow him. But it feels like y'all picking on him for being honest about his shit. I'm going to say this one time only. I don't bother nobody. Is any, anybody who knows me know that Ford don't bother nobody. I've been a chill, laid back nigga most of my life. Most of this whole TV shit, all this shit, I've been chilling. Now that I'm just at a place with myself where I'm happy and I got my mind right and I'm doing what I want to do outside of tattooing and music and TV shows, nigga, I'm just doing me and living my life, nigga. You should live yours too. Just leave me alone. Anybody who I grew up with, anybody I've been on TV with, who I call my bro or sis or an ex or baby mama, anybody that, just leave me alone because I'm not bothering nobody. Y'all are bothering me by attaching yourself to my name about something in the past. If you had, if it was me on the other end and I'm getting everybody calling me about X, Y, and Z, I would be like, shit, it don't concern me. It don't matter. We know. We know. You do kind of have a sort of bitch assness about you. And the bitch assness is you displaying this on social media like you don't know that people going to have something to say. And if you know people going to have something to say, why even get all upset, st -st stuttering and shit? Like, there's no need for all of that. You already know that people are going to have something to say. What you getting mad for? But at the same time, this is people he know. And if it was some people I know deciding that they wanted to try to play me on the internet, if I'm going to get on the internet and say something, I was going to check you harder than he did. Like, he really just frustrated with people who he actually know coming at him. I'm sure he gets comments all the time from, pre from people he don't know. And he don't give a fuck. But he, these are people he know. But I would just say for, tough it up, okay? Tough it up, nigga. But you know, we happy that you didn't find, you know, your little freak thing that got you happy over there. Good for you, nigga. I'm not going to go troll and be under every blog comment. That's just not how I move because it don't matter. I'm asking y'all one favor. Just leave me the fuck alone. That's it. That's all. <laughs> That's it. I ain't bothering you, nigga. Leave me alone. I'm a it seems like a simple enough request to me. I don't come on here and talk shit about four. I don't talk shit about myself. I don't, I don't say too much of nothing. I always support him and everything he's doing. He's still whoever's father at the end of the day. I don't condone it. I'm dealing with it firsthand before anybody. And it's fucked up because if it was me, I'm going to lost my child behind this shit. You would have, you would have sis. You would. I agree. I'm not gonna say like I'm. I've never entertained certain actions or certain participated in certain actions because I have. You did this kink shit too. Cool. But y'all didn't see it. It wasn't on the internet. It wasn't for y'all to see. I wake up just like y'all in shock. I, I kind of understand where she coming from. I really do. Because if she was doing this shit online, y'all definitely would be calling CPS on that lady. But I feel like y'all would have been wrong personally. I don't see nothing wrong with people doing this type of shit as long as you can eventually explain it to your kid. <laughs> like. As long as you can eventually explain it to your kid. And now, honestly, I feel like when your kid becomes an adult, they should get it. If they don't, that's on them. I don't want no issues. I want a smooth co-parenting situation. Okay. But I have to be mindful of reality and how the fuck I feel and how the shit is making me feel. My people are seeing this shit. Pray every fucking night that you got a fucking baby mama like me. I be in my all little bubble, my little peaceful, beautiful little soft life, just flourishing, living life, and bam, your baby daddy in the cage. What the fuck? The second-hand embarrassment that y'all feel when y'all see this shit, I feel it three times worse. I think about my beautiful ass son. I've always thought about the future. Did he make you kinky? Yeah, kinky, kinky. Not freaky, but kinky for sure. Girl, it's the same thing. They taking shit too fucking far. I really damn it don't even want to go around in there. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. Niggas are embarrassing. They all. <sighs> well, now that I've heard it from her viewpoint, honestly, I low-key agree with her. Like, this is kind of embarrassing. I do really wish that he would have kept this shit off the internet. But at the same time, I feel like people should be able to do whatever they want to do. But if it was a woman, y'all would be tearing her ass up. But honestly, I get it. This is some embarrassing ass shit. I feel sorry for the lady. 
you know, um, because that nigga is her baby daddy. And that's that's sad. That's why you gotta be careful who, who you make your baby daddy. You wasn't paying attention. You thought you had, you know, hit the jackpot because a nigga was on TV and he wasn't a brute. But then you found out he was a bitch ass nigga and you just been trying to have a cute co parenting situation ever since. Now his ass is in a cage embarrassing everybody. Everybody's laughing. The whole world's laughing at your baby daddy. Well, bitch, let me tell you something. Anybody that was paying attention to Ford from the very beginning saw the bitch ass and it's seeping up out of him, okay? Because he's always been a follower. He's always been weak as far as I'm concerned. He's finally found a space in which he can, you know, feel his best self, you know? And I don't have a problem with that. I hope his son will understand. That's all I can say.